They called our generation the missing millions. Missing not because we went anywhere. There's nowhere left to go. Nowhere except the Oasis. Ready Player One is Steven Spielberg's latest movie, and once again, the director is pushing the limits of visual effects. I love the film, it, it was awesome. What were your reactions? We spoke at, at San Diego Comic-Con, it wasn't done then, but now you've seen it, what were your reactions? Um, yeah. you know, um, <laughs> like that, like that. My reaction at the end, I literally did this, yes! <laughs> and I turned around, it was just me in the cinema. <laughs> and I was like, okay, cool, hello. <laughs> this is the Oasis a whole virtual universe. It exceeded all of my expectations. I would have had pretty high expectations when yeah. Spielberg was directing this, yes. but yeah, exceeding those expectations. You see, I'm like a Ron Tomato critic. I either rate it really good or really bad. I rated this really good. I might have a little bias here, oh. but I'm saying 110%. People come to the Oasis for all the things they can do. But they stay because of all the things they can be. What was your reaction to seeing the finished picture? Man, well, I've seen it twice now. I saw it once, like, you know, with some execs at Warner Brothers, and yeah. I was blown away. I thought it was a 3D. And then I saw it again in Austin with an audience, which was yeah. like a whole nother experience. And I look forward to sitting through it again and again and again and again yeah. because I genuinely enjoy it. Like, I would like this movie if I wasn't in it. Hello. If you're watching this, I'm dead. I created a hidden object, an Easter egg. The first person to find the egg will inherit half a trillion dollars and total control of the oasis itself. I think the special part of the film for me is how relevant it is right now in yeah. 2018. And although it's set in, a, in 2045 in a dystopian future and there's, you know, embedded pop culture from the 80s and 90s, this, this film for me is a film for everyone. Like many of you. I only came here to escape, but I found something much bigger than just myself. I thought it was amazing, uh, blew me away. Oh, he watched I, it twice I in a row. I watched it twice in a row, theater. you know, wow. uh, and still, and left wanting to see it, you know, uh, again. I was just blown away, but I didn't feel like, you know, we talked about this, we didn't feel like we had really seen the movie uh, right. until we saw it with an audience in Austin, When Texas. we saw it in Austin, it was just like, oh my God, this is the movie. Who is this Parzival, and how the hell is he winning? find him. It's an amazing story. It's an amazing, it's the storytelling of this film is gonna, I think, tune in with people on different levels and people are gonna have different emotions to this film and it's it, hold on to your seatbelts moment, you know? It's nothing less than a war. We're in control of the future. When a film is really well made and does all the magic things that a film is gonna do, it just happens, you know? And this yeah. is such a, such a film.